Hello everyone. Welcome to JH of Tech. Today we are discussing about top 7 SAP tips and tricks for beginners. In this video, you will learn some helpful and interesting tricks to work on the SAP system which will quite helpful to beginners. First trick. Changes background color. To change the background color, click the display icon and go to options. Then pick the respective color scheme. To apply color changes, you have to log out and in order to see the changes, log back in. Second tip, turn off the SAP system sound. In the background, you can hear the sound that SAP makes. In order to turn off the sound, please go to option, interaction, design, sound setting, Activate audio signal and uncheck the activate audio signal and then click apply. This is the way how you can turn it off. Third trick, display transaction codes in the SAP menu. In the menu, you can see only the description of the transaction but cannot see the actual transaction behind the process descriptions. Therefore, in order to see the transaction, go to Extras Settings. Now, tick the check mark for the display technical names option and press Enter. Fourth trick Working with Favorites. First, I will show you how you can install a folder. Therefore, go to Favorites, Insert Folder. Add enter a name for the folder. Now, if you want to add some transactions to a new folder, then go to favorites, insert transaction. Then, just type the transaction name and press enter. It will get added to the folder into the favorites. Or, you can go to SAP menu, above workbench, overview. Highlight the transaction you want to add as the favorite and then click on the star button above and then the table appears in the favorites at the top. You can drag and drop them into the folder. In order to change the description of the folder, just right click on it and select change favorite. Now change the description and press enter. Fifth trick. Display the current system and SAP T code. The fifth trick is when you work with a different system and you want to know which system you are in and which transaction you are in. Go to system, then transaction. This is the way to bring that up. Sixth trick, change the date format. Very often work for a company that is located, let's say in Germany. They use different date format. I want to show you how to change the date format. This is how you do it. Go to System, User Profiles, User Data. Now go to Default Make the Changes in the Date, date Format column and then click the Save icon to save your changes. Seventh trick, Taggle between SAP transactions. Tip number 7 is tapping to another transaction. Let's say I'm in ME21N and wanna go to T code SE10. You can do that by executing slash NSE10 into the transaction box. If I wanted to switch back to that ME21N, I would have to do the same thing. If I just execute SPRO, it does not work then instead execute slash NSPRO and that's how you hop between different transactions. Thank you. Thank you for watching video. Please subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.